What's up, everyone? I'm here to review TLC pay-per-view match between Dean Ambrose and Kevin Owens for the Intercontinental Championship. And I must say, coming out from the door, it's not going to be too long. Make sure you join us for the post pay-per-view uh, live stream where we talk about all of the results. But I just wanted to make sure I touched on this one uh, just real quick. So we have what you see in the picture, Dean Ambrose winning the Intercontinental Championship. And I was feeling a certain way during this match. I I, I wasn't feeling it. Um, I don't know if, if it was just me. I don't know if it was the crowd. I don't know what it was about this match. But I ended up tweeting, I just don't care about this match. I, I Maybe... Maybe it's the lack of storyline. Maybe it's the fact that Dean had something going on outside of uh, what he had going on with Kevin Owens. He was more focused on the whole Roman Reigns thing and not as much on Kevin Owens. Like maybe it could be that. Um, I just really had nothing to sink my teeth into with this match. Um, also, the match itself, it just didn't grab me. Like, I don't. This just didn't strike me as a match between two guys that wanted to steal the show uh, or two guys that wanted to stand out or two guys that wanted to make a name for themselves as main eventers. It just felt like your run of the mill match. Nothing felt special about this match whatsoever as I'm watching it. And when we got down to the finish, you know, uh, Kevin Owens goes for the pop up power bomb, which Dean reverses into what was supposed to be a Hurricane Rana roll-up, but it just looked sloppy. Kevin Owens jumped into it pretty late. Uh, then, you know, on his way down, Kevin Owens had to pick his own legs up in order for Dean to get the pin. It just looked pretty sloppy. Um, I just couldn't buy into this match. I didn't have any investment in this match whatsoever, uh, nor do I really care for Dean to be the Intercontinental Champion. Maybe Kevin Owens dropping the strap is a sign of better things to come. Uh, I'm guessing they're probably trying to get him up to the main event pitcher because it's so it's so tight up there. There's not really uh, many bodies on the main event pitcher. Um, that's my only guess as to why he would drop the strap. Um, also, it just didn't feel like a big deal to me. You know, the whole intercom. He's had the belt for a while now, not too long, but he's had the belt. Um, I don't want to say he looked dominant. It was not. It was just nothing special here. Um, so maybe they're priming him up for the main event pitcher. And I'm also hoping that it's not just so that he can be the guy to job left and right to Roman Reigns. Uh, don't want that to happen. Um, so I don't know. Down in the comment section, you guys let me know. What do you see coming for uh, Dean Ambrose and as well Kevin Owens? Dean Ambrose might be a little harder because there's like nobody for him to work with right now. I don't know. Uh, Kevin Owens on the other hand. There is st still some things that he can do. Um, so I can understand them taking the title off of him. I just wish that they didn't. But then again at the same time. They didn't do anything with the title. Nor did they do anything to make him look strong with the title. So I don't know. Maybe that's why this match felt so underwhelming for me. Uh, you guys let me know how you felt about the match.